history doesn't repeat, they say, but it often appears it does. Enough so that it seems like we should know just how it was, when in another time and place the party in the driver's seat. The social democrats ruled on behalf of the elite. And the next person who arose to lead the state said he'd stand up for his people and make his country great. He said everyone's exploiting us, and the reason why is we've been ruled by weaklings, and now it's time we must reply. Military spending and industry grew, and the razor wire tent camps did too. He said, we'll take the country back, and standing on the brink, he said, it's anarchy or me, we can rise or we can sink. Chicago to Milan, there was the specter of all those so inspired by the man. He signed treaties that were broken before the ink was dry. He left the League of Nations and Prime Ministers would try appeasement. But whatever they would do, the Fuhrer would just tighten the screws. Most of the news seemed real, at least after a while. The same propaganda, wherever on the dial. Germany was the victim, it would be victim no more. That's what he was saying, years before the war. Years before the Blitzkrieg, before extermination became the fate of so many then living in the nation. Inspired and stolen and lied. He said they took us for a ride with treaty signed by those serving foreign interests, as every Aryan knows. But follow me, he said, you won't recognize the place. We'll be great again. We're the master race. People look back and wonder what could have been done many years before the war was won. When social institutions fell one after the next, and then faster than almost anyone expected, few people could have even imagined the cost. Once it was too late, and the chance for peace was lost. 